Feeny, a bit more humble. Just like, let's talk about the strike for a minute. Okay, let's talk about the strike. I got some things to say about the strike. Okay, let's talk about the strike. I feel bad for the little people. I feel bad for the cameramen, the stand-ins, all that. But you know what, you big Hollywood stars getting up at these award shows and telling all of us little people what we should do, how we should do it, who we should vote for, what shot we should take, if we should go out, if we should wear masks. Fuck off. I don't feel sorry for any of you, okay? You pushed it too far. You all pushed it too far. Now, nobody feels sorry for you, but I do feel, I have friends that are stand-ins and I feel bad for them, but not one Hollywood star do I feel bad with. You just try to shove shit down our throats and I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I didn't do any shit that they told me to do. Yes, I wore a mask when they when I wanted to go out. And I went, but you know what? They shove shit down our throats. And who are they to do that? So now, guess what? I don't feel sorry for you at all. But I do feel sorry for the, you know, the background, the cameraman. I do. You know, I do. Because I I'll love how you. somehow you're relating the strike to stances on COVID. I didn't make well, that not connection. just COVID, voting also. Oh, I, voting I get it. Also, I get it. If you don't vote for the right person, you're a bad person. You're no good. You're a racist. You're this. You're that. You know. So fuck off. Go pick it now, and let's see what happens. Well, Lisa. So now we get into which I mean, uh, there's also a lot of controversy that people are like, you know, where is this Sofia Vergara? Where's Brad Pitt? Where's George Clooney? Like, where's Reese Witherspoon? And I'm just picking random names. Yeah, one or yeah. one or two of these might be out there, but you know, you do have like C and B list actors and actresses are there, but they're saying, you know, it would be nice if like Sandra Bullock can pop down from you know the mansion. And, and that's what people want to see. I, I I get it. I think it's a valid argument. You know, I always say this all the time. Hollywood is not created equal. There's 1% of the people are working and making a ton of money. Your, your person that you saw on the show 20 years ago from the 90s is getting no fucking residuals. Yep. Yep. You know, Courtney Cox, now she's okay. What they do with the yeah. friends and what yes. they do with Seinfeld. But, you know, the person from my favorite show, Melrose Place, who's not working right now, they're getting nothing. So Wow, are, I didn't know are, that. I didn't know they that. don't not not a lot of money now. No, it's, not, it's like people are like working between gigs, and you know they're yeah. dri- driving a normal car. And you right, know, listen, right. you start at a corporate job, you work your way up. You're vice president. You're better right. off, probably. Right, right. Um, as far yeah, as now my, that's but, my feeling about these these you know this Hollywood bullshit. It's I all see. bullshit. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't like that agenda being shoved down your throat, but I would like to talk about, so we have this woman, her name is Bethany Frankel, very, very good friend of mine. And uh, she is now calling to organize a strike for the reality TV star. Saw that. Now, before we get into whether that would actually work or not, I mean, first of all, it's never going to work. I mean, could you imagine that, (laughs) I use this example on another show, so I don't even want to mention Malaya because they're going to think that. that, Everybody loves the new name. Everybody Mal- I mean, loves her name Malaya. is Malaya Gorga. AKA, Everybody loves it. AKA Messy G. I can't. And her husband, Josefina. And someone's offended by that. They can go fuck themselves. Fuck off. And then they have little, little bitch boy on their payroll, the little PR bitch. And they're one big happy family. They really are. I they mean, really are. So I won't use Malaya as an example because I use it. But let's talk about the Maj. She's so well. The Maj. I I the told Maj. you the Maj. Yeah. I talk shit about Maj, but I'm going to tell you something. Tell me. She's got a firecracker stuck stuck up her ass because that bitch is everywhere. She's doing Gary's again. She's going to be at Zarin's. She's what the hell at is the Gary's? Bar- Gary's wine place here in Wayne. Remember, she was there. She's going back. Okay, it's a beautiful she, place. Beautiful. Honey, no, I I don't know because the bitch blocked me, so I don't know anything. Oh, she does. well, no. yeah, no, she's doing. She was at the Barbie thing. She, oh, that God. she's everywhere. Good for you, Maj. Good for you. Like that, I give you credit for. You're a hustler. I I I love hustlers. I'm a hustler. I love hustler. I mean, I used to do all this. I never did red carpet stuff. I didn't want to be bothered with any of that shit. But I give her credit. She is hustling her stuff. Um, I definitely want to go to Target. Is that where they sell her little puffs and all that stuff? I definitely want. I told you I want to do that. It's been too hot. Check it out. I can't girl. go out in 100 degree weather. I can't. I went to get my Why spray tan today, start- my dear. Like Bethany is doing her reviews of the pro. Why don't you go get some? Everyone wants me to do that. And let's I'm talk gonna about do Maj's shit. And I they liked when I did home goods. 
I went to home since the other day. I was like, Kim, we want, I will do it. But guys, I can't wait to get home when it's like 99 degrees. I just, I, I, I And you know what? If you don't want to spend all that we could divide it, I'll, I'll order some Rinna wine. Yeah, I'll order, okay. you know, I cannot order anything from the Countess because I'm biased. I will, it will be a good review. I have to excuse right. myself from that one, but I'll do these other ones. Sure. Okay. Um, I'll do Maj. I'll do Maj because I, I, I approve of her um, work, you know, ethic. I think it's great. You know, what? she's, I can't, believe, listen, she's everywhere. I mean, yeah. she, there's no grass grows under that bitch's feet. Holy crap. Keep me posted on the bitch. I will. She, she blocked I me, will. girl. So whatever it All is, right. I mean, I can't see her. Um, No, but imagine like Teresia is home. And she is like, oh, I am on strike. She's like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to go with this, Bethany, because this is going to get me. You like want to use my picture from 2010? Like, oh, this Bethany is going to get me money. That like, you know, that like, yeah. So but then the, the, then she gets the call. Teresa, cross the picket line. The contract says 2.2. She's going to be like, fuck off, Bethany. I'm signing it. So that is the problem with these reality TV stars. There's not the people They're not that do it. like I have friends that are real actors and actresses. I've interviewed all these people from the 80s and 90s. And the, like I've become friends with a lot of them and they really are good people about the work. They care about yes, the work yes. and the rights. These are the people that should be on strike that maybe a change could be made. When you call the, you talk about no soul. I don't want to characterize a group of people, but most of these reality stars want money and fame. And yeah. so when the money is there, you have the fame, but when the money is there and you have to cross the line, is Teresa, is Malaya, is no. Maj, Maj How about, how about little Josefina? Are you kidding me? Not only would he cross the line, okay? He would stomp on the, on the signs, step over anyone, okay? could care less about anything or anyone but the almighty dollar. And you know what? Yeah. I do care about people and I do care about my dogs, but we love the almighty dollar. Me and David, we do. Oh, yeah. That's where I can relate. I, I wouldn't step over people, but if, if I had a chance of making 2.2, 1.2, even 250,000, I'm stepping over the line. I'm sorry. You gotta see Stepping the family. Over the line. I, I, I agree. I agree. Listen, um, so I mean, listen, I, I like to say two things get to be true. There's a lot of people out there because Lisa Rinna is now saying like, yes, every every Bravo celebrity should not go to BravoCon. Now people are saying because they get paid to go. People are saying because Lisa. So people are saying Bethany and Lisa. This is easy for you to say because you're not on reality TV That's right, right now. And I agree with that. If Bethany were on Housewives, making her two, she she just came out and said for one million dollars, she's willing to finally do girls trip for ten days. I saw that. I so saw that. And if the phone rang right now with her big she lips, would do it. She would and, do it. And if the phone rang from Andy and said, we just edited the entire season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We need you back. Even with Kyle's separation, because she is separated and it's not going well with Mauricio. No, All you not. people in the Kyle. I heard, he's being, I heard Netflix is being sued too. There's a big lawsuit. Yep. And yeah. Yep. Over because his show. They showed that. I want, first of all, yep. I watched the show. I will watch any show with real estate porn. It's I know better you than love this that. housewife you shit. Love I that. love it. Yep. I listen, I don't love it in, you know, Podunk, Iowa. No offense to Iowa. When it's New right. York or LA, yeah, I love it. 